Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's a joy to be again with you this morning in this devotion. Each of your devotions have been a huge blessing to me, so thank you for taking your time to study the Word, to record, and thanks to team of Haddon, Plessy, and uh, Danny for getting this out every day. Uh, thank you for blessing each one of us, and, and me specifically. Really appreciate this. This morning, I'm looking at uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Honor your father and mother so that you may live long in the land that the Lord is giving you. Uh, <clears throat> incidentally, this is the first lateral command that the Lord gives. The first four commandments are directed towards him. Uh, worshipping the Lord, keeping the Sabbath and etc, etc, etc. All about the vertical commands. This is the first lateral command that he gives about one another. And the first person he picks uh, in that command is father and mother. And in fact, of, of the Ten Commandments that he gives, this is the only commandment that is accompanied by a promise. And therefore, this makes it a very special commandment. Let me stop there. I have a problem with this commandment. Now, before you uh, start judging me or, or questioning my Christian faith, uh, just hear me out. My question and my struggle uh, with, with this commandment is, which father and mother do I do I honor? I lost my dad when I was 13. I never had a father, so there's no father that I can honor. And my mother, uh, I grew up in a boarding school, so she was never for any of our award functions. She was never there for any, any time we needed them. When I went through my adolescent changes, I had to speak to every Tom, Dick and Harry, Mary, Jane and Joe. Uh, so I grew up outside of home, so I really never grew up under the care of a father and mother. And honestly, my brothers and sisters, I am confident there are many of us who struggle with this. And that's the reality of life. That has been the reality of life for kids or missionaries like us, especially those of us who have who spent all our life in a boarding school or having studied with the grandparents and others. Sometimes even our dom parents or dom mom, dom dad, or whatever we call them, wherever we studied, tend to be more closer to us than uh, than our own parents were. So that brings us to a very crucial question to ask. If the Lord, when he gives the commandments to his people as they were leaving from captivity into the promised land, where they were supposed to be governed by his rules and laws, and the first lateral law he picks, and the only law that he accompanies with a promise is about father and mother, we have no choice but give serious thought to it. I do not know what your uh, beef has been with your father and mother. Uh, I do not know what struggle you had. And if you had an excellent relationship, praise God for that. But some of us, it was not a relationship of great joy, simply because of the distance, not because uh, they were cruel parents, or not because they had no other choice. Sometimes they didn't have a choice because missions had a weird policy that you had to send them to Santosh Vidyalaya, otherwise they wouldn't pay the fees. A stupid policy that missions need to question and, and definitely have to change. But dear brothers and sisters, if you and I want to be a true disciple of the Lord, you and I have really no choice but honor our father and mother. It's not going to be easy for those of us who've had a very distant relationship. Uh, very rarely and, and, and unfortunately, sometimes parents have been bad parents and they've asked uh, us to do things that are not in accordance with the law of the Lord. And, and that we disobey, no questions about it. But generally, uh, they have done their best and they have failed, no questions about it. And we as parents also will fail. There's no questions about it. But as a disciple of the Lord, as a child of the Lord, if you and I are to live long in what the Lord has promised for us, I think we and I have no choice but honor our father and mother. And, and this is not just in the law of uh, Moses. Uh, you see Solomon referred to that at several times. Paul referred to that at several times in Ephesians. And therefore, my brothers and sisters, my prayer this day is that no matter what hurts you, you and I have had with our parents, let's make a commitment to reconcile 
And sometimes reconciliation is just a matter of going and talking to them and saying sorry. And sometimes reconciliation may need uh, uh, outside professional help. Whatever be the process, let's come to a place where we will honor our father and mother in their old age, for those of us who still have them around. May we be true disciples of the Lord in following his first lateral commandment to its fullest so that we may enjoy life to the fullest. May God bless us and continue to use us. Love you all.